Welcome back to Geospatial Analysis. Today, we're diving into a technology that's a cornerstone of modern navigation and positioning, GNSS, or the Global Navigation Satellite System. Whether you're using your phone to navigate through a new city, or scientists are tracking tectonic plate movements, GNSS plays a critical role. But what exactly is it, and how does it work? Let's break it down. GNSS stands for Global Navigation Satellite System which is an umbrella term for all satellite-based navigation systems that provide global coverage. The most well-known GNSS is GPS, the Global Positioning System, which was developed by the United States. But did you know that there are other systems as well? Let's take a quick look at them. GPS, managed by the United States. GLONASS, operated by Russia. Galileo, developed by the European Union. Baidu, from China. Together, these systems make up the GNSS network, providing seamless, global coverage for positioning, navigation, and timing services. So, how does GNSS actually work? It all starts with these satellites. Each GNSS system has a constellation of satellites orbiting the Earth, transmitting signals down to the surface. These signals contain information about the satellite's position and the exact time the signal was sent. Your GNSS receiver, whether it's in your smartphone, car, or specialized equipment picks up these signals from multiple satellites. By calculating how long it took for the signals to reach the receiver, the device can determine its distance from each satellite. Using a process called trilateration, the receiver then calculates its exact position on Earth. The more satellites your receiver can see, the more accurate the positioning. Typically, four or more satellites are needed to get a precise location. GNSS isn't just about getting you from point A to point B. Its applications are incredibly diverse and impact many aspects of our daily lives. Navigation, the most common use, helping you find your way whether you're driving, hiking, or sailing. Surveying and mapping, essential for creating accurate maps and managing land resources. Timing, GNSS provides precise timing for financial transactions, telecommunications, and even power grids. Tracking, from tracking delivery packages to monitoring wildlife movements, GNSS plays a key role. Scientific research, used in studies of climate change, earthquake monitoring, and more. While GNSS is powerful, it's not without its challenges. Signal interference, multipath errors, where signals bounce off buildings or other surfaces, and obstructions like mountains or urban canyons can affect accuracy. However, advances in technology are continually improving GNSS. For example, using signals from multiple GNSS systems together, known as multi-GNSS, can enhance accuracy and reliability. There's also growing interest in integrating GNSS with other technologies, like inertial navigation systems for even better performance. So, that's a quick look at GNSS, a technology that's all around us, making our lives easier in ways we often take for granted. Whether you're navigating, surveying, or just checking the time, GNSS is there, silently working to keep us connected to the world. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more insights into the world of geospatial technology. And if you have any questions about GNSS or ideas for future videos, drop them in the comments below. Until next time, keep exploring and stay curious.